You know, that's actually really surprising. pretty nervous about this video, but today we're going to cut open my old sleeping pad. We're going to see what's inside. I noticed when I was on trail, when I held it up to the sun, I could see like spots on the inside. We're going to, we're going to open up, we're going to cut it up. I have some scissors on my sleeping pad. I'm hoping it's not going to be too gross, but I have a feeling it's going to be really gross. So, let's, uh, without further ado. Alright, already off the bat, it smells moldy, so I'm really looking forward to the inside of this. Let's, uh, let's see what's inside this. Okay, actually there's, I thought I was gonna be able to just like pull this open, but no, there's a, I forgot there are baffles in here. So far, it actually, doesn't look moldy at all, so I'm very surprised by that fact. Alright, let's, uh, let's start working on this, though. You know, that's actually really surprising. So, I ripped all this open, and apparently there is no mold at all. I think what I was seeing, this is what the inside looks like. It has these fabric baffles with this foil film on the inside. So you can see how like the foil is like rubbed off on some parts of the plastic. So some of it is perfectly nice and reflective like this and then as it gets towards the ends you can see how you can see my shirt through it. It gets worn off. So I think what I was seeing was actually the light coming through this area so I thought this is what it was supposed to look like and all this stuff that didn't let light through was all gross mold but it was actually the other way around this is the way it's supposed to look and this is the way it looks all weird so a couple thoughts come to mind with this one is I had planned on bringing the Thermarest pad inflator little thing. It, it's like two ounces and I thought that it was super worth it if my mattress, my sleeping pad was going to get all moldy because I didn't want to, you know, flatten out my mattress every morning and be inhaling all that mold. I don't need that because my pad is obviously not moldy. It's fine. Um, slightly worn out. It is a little disconcerting that, well, that's point two. The point two is that this pad only got used from the border to Mammoth Lakes. And I didn't even hike all of that. I skipped some 200 miles. So this is only like 600 miles of hiking and it got pretty beat up. Well, not really. I mean, it's perfectly fine. But on the inside, the foil was kind of worn out. Um, there are like some spots in here, but that, I think that's just like dirt that's been rubbed in because my pad is really dirty. And 
It does vaguely smell like a basement, like it does have like a little bit of a musty, moldy smell. So, I think the sleeping pad inflator is definitely not necessary. I actually ordered it today, so I'm gonna go and cancel that as soon as I'm done with this video. But, that if I end up getting really cold in Washington, it might be worth getting a new pad. But my friend is awesome. He just bought me a new sleeping pad and it just came in the mail. So I'm really excited that I am going to be starting with the new sleeping pad, even though apparently it's not as necessary as I thought it was. Um, although I wouldn't have found out if I hadn't cut it open in the first place. So I'm glad I have that. Um, so yeah, I hope this video was informative. I found it really interesting. So yeah, I'm quite content with this little experiment. Um, so yeah, if any of you were thinking about getting um, a mattress pad inflator and watch this, um, hopefully that helped you decide whether or not you do or do not need one. Um, so yeah.